Okay, we're on our 2008 Enterprise server, and now we're going to set up our FTP server. We've already set up our web server. And I'm going to go over here, and here's my FTP. Now, notice by default it's been stopped. The service is not functioning. So we can start that service. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and make a few changes here, some, some setting changes. And we'll look at some of the options. Connections limited to 100,000 simultaneous connections. I doubt we'll supersede that, um, not for our intents and purposes. Connection timeout, 120 seconds. If the user doesn't do anything, then we'll time them out to free that connection and make it available for someone else. Um, the logging and format. Here's a security account. Again, this is a service account added when you install a service. Works like a user account, but it's used by an application for the purpose of having permission as an access control entry and a DCL for objects in, you know, in Windows and Active Directory to be able to perform functions and, and do things. So this is sort of our anonymous access account, our user Sarah. Also works, if you remember, with our directory browsing and our web account. Any folder that we chose to share out over the web, this account we would give access to um, to enable anonymous access to that folder. Here's a message, and let's just arg. Welcome to pirates.arg. Um, Have a swashbuckling time. Boy, that sounds cheesy, huh? And that could be our banner message. And our arg me mates. Walk the plank. Is that how you spell plank? I'm not sure. Anyway. But we'll go ahead and specify a, a banner message, a welcome message, and an exit message. We can do that there. Um, we can specify our home directory, uh, you know, log visix, the display type, Unix or MS DOS. Um, let's go with Unix. And directory security, and again, we can add by default all computers will be granted access for anonymous FTP. That's okay. You could specify by default they would be denied and then add a specific range of IPs or groups of computers. But we'll go with the defaults there. And let's go ahead and start our FTP service. Now our FTP service is running. And again, we'll just go through our settings real quick. General settings, the service account, there's our message, here's our home directory, FTP root, directory security. So with FTP server now running, Let's hop over on our Vista client and check things out. Okay, we're going to log on to our Vista client now and try out our FTP server. And I'm going to go here and I'll just open a command prompt. You can use a GUI FTP server as well, but I'm going to go ahead and change the background too, so this is a bit easier to see. So make the background white and the text black. There you go. And I should modify. Let me go ahead and this may create some overlapping here, but hopefully it'll make it again just a little bit easier to see. By the time this is compressed, it'll be pretty small. What I want to do is either FTP the host name or the server address. Uh, make sure I can resolve the host name. Okay, so I got four echo replies. And I'm going to go ahead and FTP. And it's just kind of distorted. I'm going to. I hope you guys can see. You know, I hope it, this isn't so small that you can't see what's going on. But I'm going to go ahead and FTP Sarah. And Microsoft FTP service here's you know welcome to pirates.arg. Have a swashbuckling time. Let me pull this out here. Okay, and this is anonymous access. So here's my message, my banner, and my welcome message, and we'll see my goodbye message when I log out. We're gonna type in anonymous, anonymous access allowed. Could be any password. I'll just put in www for World Wide Web. Notice it says, arg, me mateys, and that's my banner message. Anonymous user logged in, 
and I almost typed in ls because I was thinking you know Linux, but I'm gonna we're gonna type in dir. This is DOS, and we'll choose Vista. We'll let we'll unblock this connection because we want a browser FTP server. And notice here are my files: data, fun, and secrets. And if I want, I can type in a question mark and look at some of my commands. But say I wanted to download one of those files, I'd use the command git. Or if I wanted to download multiple files, I'd use the command mgit. And if I wanted to upload a file, I would use the command put. And if I wanted to upload multiple files, I could use the command input right here. So let's say I want to get uh, fun.rtf. Then And then in this case, transfer complete, and that downloads it to my default directory. In this case, I'm in C colon, so it's the root directory. And let's say, let's say I want to go up and I'll list my files again. Let's say I want to grab secrets.txt. Again, I would just use get txt and transfer complete. And mget, multiple get, and I could just use, I'll use a wildcard there. And then it'll just prompt me, since I've already downloaded it, do I want to overwrite that file? And I'll say yes, it'll prompt me, and I'll say yes, and I'll say yes. And so I've gotten all the files in that directory. And when I'm done, I can just type in the keyword quit. And here, notice here's my goodbye message, walk the plank. Arg, mateys, walk the plank, pirates we be. So there's our FTP server, and our Internet Information ser uh, Services server, in Windows 2008, and access from our Vista Ultimate workstation or a client.